Today is National Turtle Adoption Day. Being a parent of a turtle is a lot more nuanced than you'd expect, <laughs> so today we're going to learn a little bit more. Yeah, something you know a lot about. Yes. Yeah, we've turtle got Turtle Mama. <laughs> we've got our friends from Incredible Bats and the Natural Naturalist back again, Sharon right. Peterson and Kim White. Welcome hey, to ladies. you. Both. Welcome. Well, all Thanks right. for the okay. I'm always happy to be with another turtle lover. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she I love and, it. and a turtle mom. Okay, Kim, yes. tell me about this. National Turtle Adoption Day. Who knew such a thing even existed? I have to admit I didn't know. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. You did. Because I have, I've always had turtles. I've, I've loved turtles since I was like eight years old when my neighbor, Marlene, she had a turtle named Sam. And every now and then we'd hear this call go out, Sam's loose. And we would, all the kids would go look for it. So I grew to love turtles way back then. And then as I got older and my kids no longer needed their bedrooms, it became a turtle room. Great. So I have funny. 12 turtles that walk around and they and who's can. Who's this with the turtle? That is my neighbor Marlene and that's Aww. Sam. Aww. She has been with this turtle for 53 years. Wow. No. So it is a commitment when you Way. go to get a turtle. It is, it is. And you know, turtles, I love this picture that we have here because those little teeny tiny turtles, yeah. you can buy them so easily. Uh -huh. They're sulcatas. They grow up to be massive and be very, very destructive. But we have a lot of turtles okay. here that are better pets mm -hmm. uh, for you know for kids. Uh, I personally don't like aquatic turtles. I'm sorry. Because it's okay. I, I still love you. I know that they're so much work. They are. You yeah. need a huge no. investment yes. in tanks yes. and everything. Do these three get along? They're all together. They here. all hang around in okay. the room together. And these are just box turtles. So this one right here is a box turtle, a three-toed box turtle. Now you know what they can actually feel when you do that. They do? They can feel me they petting can, on the shell? They can because what? it's just a thin layer of keratin like your fingernails on top oh. of bone. Do they and like it? They love it. They oh. love a good scratch. I always say, don't knock on their shell. We know they're home. Okay. <laughs> but you can give them a <laughs> give scratch. Give them a nice little scratch. Yes, yes. So box turtles are great because you can keep them in like a dark uh, sided bin. If they can see out, they want to go out and it makes mm -hmm. them frustrated. So if they have like a big darker bin or a whole room like in my house, you can do that. Um, but they can just be in mulch and you can feed them, have a little water dish that they can go to. Um, and this is a Russian tortoise, which is another really common pet turtle. Uh -huh. scratching every, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every summer I see on Facebook, oh, somebody dumped their turtle. Most likely it wasn't a dump. These guys are escape artists. Okay. They can climb oh. chain link fences wow. and they, they escape a lot. And then this is a Central American wood turtle. Now this requires a little bit more water mm -hmm. for it, but I have it available and they can climb in on their own. Okay, question for you. Yes. So, I mean, obviously there's no like spaying and neutering of turtles. Mm. So like, what? Do, I mean, do you have to make sure you've got only males yeah, or females? You want, you want or... to make sure you have okay. all same sex. And, and how do you tell like, I mean, well, what? you oh, can easy. tell easily on the bottom okay. of this one. So this one is a red foot tortoise. And its name is Gladys because I was told it was a female when I got it. Uh -huh. But it turns out it's a male. Ooh. And you can tell because on the bottom of the shell, it's very concave right here. Oh. And the females, like this, is flat. Oh. oh. So now we did bring a red-eared slider with us. This one is actually up for adoption at Trop Aquatics Pets in Lombard. Um, so I borrowed it for the day since I don't yeah. have my own aquatic turtles. <laughs> Red mark. <laughs> Sorry, again. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> so why, do you think people are leaving their turtles to go sometimes or should they be bringing them to you guys or to somebody if they well, don't want them anymore? What happens a lot of times is they buy them when they're really small yeah, and they uh -huh. don't realize the full size they can get when they get older, especially the sulcata that we've got in the pen over there. Oh, let's and take a look yeah. at that because it is yeah. huge. Yes. They start off fitting in your hand and then they went up end up like that so our friend Wendy's over there she owns that sulcata okay and you can see how big and it's only eight years old right now correct Wendy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's eight yeah and eight years yeah. old okay we're gonna yeah. get okay. a shot of that in a second yeah. but yes. yeah yeah so they start off small so when people realize oh my gosh it's getting so big and, yeah and then they're very messy too you know Kim has to mm. constantly be mopping up the floor after them too and I have uh, four um, box turtles which are, but males are separated from the females there, there's the shot. Yeah, look there how is. giant so, and you can see compared I love to Wendy when you zoom out yeah. and see the size comparison with Wendy yeah yeah, yeah. it is so it's huge. in that 
10 is a sulcata tortoise, that's eight, and then Tilly is a leopard tortoise, and she's about 15. So turtles don't just keep growing and growing and growing and getting mm -hmm. giant. For the species, they, yeah. they stop at a certain point. But talking about the growth, even with this little red-eared slider that Sharon is holding, when you get them, a lot of times at the pet store, they're just teeny, Little, teeny, tiny. Right. But something this size requires about a 150 gallon tank yeah. with multiple filtration. So it's an investment. And it I am yeah. sorry that we're out of time, but the main messaging here is it is National Turtle yes. Adoption Day. Right. But don't adopt one unless you have researched and found out if it is the proper one for your home there and your you family. Go. We are guardians for these reptiles and don't invite one into your home unless you're willing to commit the time and energy and resources. And one last point the Chicago. Or herpetological society mm -hmm. is the place to go to. Love you it. contact them, they will they can take it in, they can foster it, and then they can take it out for adoption. You know, wonderful. So. Don't just let it loose outside right. if yes. you're no, no, please no. don't do that. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more about turtle adoption, head to our friends' websites at Incredible Bats and Natural Naturalists. Their information is on your screen now. Thank you, ladies, so much. Thanks, guys. And thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, you turtles.